Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 video. In this one we're going to be watching the new trailer that just released, it states, an hour ago. So yeah, I'm excited to check this out. This is my son here, Aiden. This will be our first time checking out this new trailer. We haven't watched it whatsoever. You excited? Yes. Alright, if you guys find this video enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. You ready, buddy? All right, here we go. And then after we watch it, we're going to be breaking down parts of it and checking out some things that you might have missed while watching it. Maybe some little secrets are in this trailer. All right, let's do this. This is my comeback. Start yours at... Test subject is 59-year-old Thomas Clark, a full-time employee at Playtime Co. since 1955. Six months ago, he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. Now, Mr. Clark of Sound Mind has volunteered for this experiment. We have eye movement. Can you hear us, Thomas? 1199 displayed much more disorientation than we expected. Subsequent mental testing metrics were also cut practically in half. It's just conjecture on my part, but I don't believe he knows where he is or what's happened to him. To make matters worse, the other experiments could tell 1199 was different. So it seems like Braun's going to be more involved in Chapter 3. They would have killed him had the research team not intervened, and even then, there was still significant damage to the internal structures with some of the anatomy, namely the larynx and the thyroid, having been completely devoured. It took 12 hours of surgery to stabilize 1199. We keep him separated from the others now. Okay, so that felt more real as a trailer. Here, let me go back now. Let's rewind it and analyze the video some more. Are you excited for Playtime Chapter 3? Yes. It seems like they're going to be diving more into the lore over Braun. So he had uh, a disease in his lungs, it seemed like. Too. All right, so it starts off here, where I guess they were doing surgery on Braun. Let's see. Do we see anything in the background of this footage here? I see Bunzo. I see Bunzo. I recognize this floor too. It's in the facility. Hmm. So, Thomas Clark. Uh, Thomas Clark? Yeah. Was a full time employee there since 1955. I have volunteered for this experiment. We have eye movement. Can you hear us, Thomas? 1199 displayed. So, that's Thomas Clark. Braun is Thomas Clark? So, Braun used to be a human? That's weird. Yeah, they're saying, can you hear us, Thomas? Can you hear us, Thomas? See? Can you hear us, Thomas? Whoa. That's creepy. Metrics were also cut practically in half. It's just conjecture on my part, but I don't believe he knows where he is or what's happened to him. To make matters worse... So it seems like Thomas doesn't know where he is or what's happened to him. Like, he doesn't know he's now this dinosaur. Yeah. How creepy. Was Huggy Wuggy also human? I haven't really dived into the lore much besides over this video. Was Huggy Wuggy used to also be a human? He was? I watched a great episode when that happened. Oh, really? 
Thank you, human. And Kissy was a human. All the characters was a human. That is creepy. Oh. They're like some mad scientist in Playtime Co. Yeah. Look, there he is moving around. He sees Pug a pillar. Who's that? Wait, did you see that too? What is that on the left of Pug a pillar? Is that part of his body? That is... That's the beam one. Yeah. So we might see him in Playtime 3. So it doesn't seem like pug pillar got him. Something else did. Let's pause it. What is that hand? Is that Huggy Wuggy's hand? It looks like Kenny Peter's hand. Huh. Maybe he did. He was just really quick. Maybe pug pillar did get him. Wait, did you see that? Go off the screen real quick? I think it was Kissy Missy. You can see it move to the left when he first enters, or whoever this is. You see it? Come on. There it is. In the darkness? Yeah, something over here to the left. I think that was Kissy Missy. Here. Oh, yeah, that looks like Kissy Missy. Did you see it? Look over here. You see it run off? I saw a foot. Yeah. I think it was Kissy Missy. It looked purple. Hmm. And why is it blown like bloody? So it seems like Kissy Missy or Huggy Wuggy or one of the monsters got Bron. So maybe in chapter three we're gonna have to repair him or make him again and yeah. leave. She said there the research team barely got to him to save him too, so they would have killed him had the research team not intervened and even then there was still significant damage to the internal structures with some of the anatomy, namely the larynx and the thyroid having been completely devoured. It took 12 hours in surgery to stable. He was almost a goner. Looks like the other monsters don't like him for some reason. Or they're just hostile with each other. July 11.99. We keep him separated from the others now. Yeah, so he's separated from the others. The others don't like him for some reason. Because he used to be a full-time employee here. Maybe he was evil to the other monsters like Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy and stuff and they know who he is or maybe he made them who they are like he helped make Huggy Wuggy he helped make Kissy Missy and Bunzo and all that and now it make him to Bun him to Braun yeah we're okay. gonna learn more about Thomas Clark which is who Braun used to be that's so eerie that he used to be a human like all the characters except you know, like, the caterpillar, he was a dog. Oh, he used to be a dog? Yes. That's crazy. I didn't know that. It makes sense. He looks like a dog. He's supposed to be a pug, which is a certain dog breed. And Huggy Wuggy looks like a human. Yeah, he, Huggy Wuggy does look like a human. Okay. And, like, when they're first talking to Thomas Clark, after he turned into this brawn, you could just see his eyes. It just looks so eerie. Well, you looks like... The eyes look like a human. Yeah, like he used to be a human. That's so eerie. I wonder how he's feeling knowing he's like that. Apparently he volunteered to be this, but who knows if he actually did. I'm surprised he actually volunteered for this experiment. So he's been working at Playtime Co. since 1955. When was Huggy Wuggy created, I wonder? Was that around the time? Because Thomas Clark could have had an important role in making all of the monsters and maybe they don't like him because he turned them into what they are now i don't know i'm just theorizing yeah the others don't like him like all the other monsters that were created in playtime co for some reason to make matters worse 
the other experiments could tell 1199 was different. See, she says here, to make matters worse, the other experiments could tell that uh, Braun here was different. Like, maybe they could tell he was Thomas Clark somehow. I don't know. I guess that's our wrapping up this uh, analyzation over the new trailer. I'm excited to play Chapter 3. I wonder when it's coming out. Yeah. This but, soon, though, is going to come out. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. Hope you all found this video enjoyable. I guess that's our wrapping up this one. If you did find it enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. Thanks guys for watching. And peace. And peace, yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Alright.